Hi friends, I'm here with a yoga offering. As always, please go at your own pace, rest whenever you need to, and feel free to skip things or change things if they're not working for you today. Let's begin standing today. So you can take your feet hip width apart, a little bend in the knees so you're not locking, and just take a few moments with the eyes closed. Feel where your feet touch the floor. You can slow down your breath, feeling the movement created by your breathing. And the movement present in your body, keeping you in balance, little tiny shifts of weight. And you can let your eyes open, keeping a soft focus. Let's begin with a few ankle circles. We'll take the right foot and circle around the ankle a couple times one way, a couple times the other way. A little bend in the supporting leg. And then same thing other side, left foot a few times around the ball of the foot, both directions. And then take the right arm, circle it back, big circles, warming up the shoulder joint can vary the speed and quality of the circle. Circle it forward now. Same thing other side, left arm back, full range of motion. Forward. And then try taking both arms up and circling one arm forward and the other arm back. If you get lost, you can start at the top and begin again. If you have it easily slow, you might try a few fast. This is more for the brain than the body. <laughs> and then release and take a few gentle swings, letting your arms swing like rope. Slow that down. We'll bring hands into light fists and pat all the soft parts of your legs. The fronts, the backs, insides, outsides. Just waking things up through touch. Do your hips gently on your belly, lower back. Both arms, all the soft parts. Gently on your chest, shoulders. And then use your fingertips to your face and head. So waking things up with gentle tapping touch. And then shake it out. Shake out your hands and arms. Shake out your legs and feet. Shake your butt, whole body. And then gather everything up and let's step up to the front of the mat. Coming into mountain pose, Tadasana. Feet can be together or apart. Bring hands together at the heart, taking a full A-series sun salutation. Inhale, arms sweep high. Exhale, fold forwards, one dive down. Inhale, lengthen part way up. Step or hop your feet back, coming through high push-up. Lower down, chaturanga. Up dog or cobra back to down dog. Hmm. Feel what it's like to be in your body in each new shape. Here you might pedal out your feet a little bit or take any other movement that helps you wake things up. Last breath here. Step or hop your feet forward, inhaling, flat back. Exhale, fold. 
Inhale, up to standing. Exhale, arms press down. Again, inhale, arms high. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Step or hop your feet back, lower down. Up dog or cobra. And back to down dog. This time from down dog, take your right leg up. Bend your knee to your chest and start circling this bent right knee, making the biggest circle possible for your hip joint. Next time your leg is up, reach it straight, circle your ankle a few times. Both directions. Take it a little higher and then bring your right knee towards right upper arm. Extend it up and back. Take it across towards left upper arm. Reach it up and back. Right towards the center of your chest. Extend it up and back. Big step forward, high lunge. Arms up. Sink low, grab the left wrist, take it over for side bend. Come over to the other side. And back to center. Interlace fingers behind your back, lift the chest. Release arms up. Tip forward, standing splits, hands to the floor or to a couple of blocks. Do this with hips square and with the upper body letting go, like ragdoll. Last breath here. Step back. Warrior one, arms up. Let's take eagle arms, right elbow on top of left. Put some pressure between the arms like you're going to pull them apart. Lift the heart. And then shift weight forward. Come onto the toes of that back foot and step into eagle, Garudasana. Knee on top of knee. Last breath here. Release, unwind, half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. Open through the top arm, connecting the top hand to the bottom hand. One more breath here. Release, make your way to down dog. Maybe through a vinyasa, high to low push up, up dog or cobra to down dog. But please move in the way that feels right for you each time. From down dog, when you're ready, left leg sweeps up, bend your knee in, start circling this bent left knee. Next time your leg is up, reach it straight. Circle your ankle a few times. Take your leg a little higher, and then left knee towards left upper arm. Reach it up and back. Take it across towards right upper arm. Send it up and back. Right towards the center of your chest. Reach it up and back. Big step forward, high lunge. Arms up. Settle in. Grab the right wrist, take it over. Come over to the other side, grab your left wrist, take it over. Back to center, interlace fingers behind your back. Other thumb on top this time, open up the chest. And 
release arms up, tip forward, standing splits. Do this with hips square, head releasing, neck releasing. One more breath. Step back, warrior one. Eagle arms, left elbow on top this time. Little upper back arch, but still really grounded. Feel your feet, hips dropping. Shift your weight forward, come onto the toes of that back foot and step into Eagle, Garudasana. Knee on top of knee, hips low. Last breath. Unwind. Half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. Going in the directions you know to go in, expanding, engaging what's useful. Keep looking for ease. Could there be ease here, even when it's like this? Last breath, and release. Make your way back to down dog. And then five deep breaths, down dog, child's pose sitting, or something else, any neutral shape. Come back through down dog. Right leg sweeps high. Step forward, high lunge. Arms up. Come into a twist. Left elbow across the outside of the right knee. There are lots of variations of this. If there's a different one you'd prefer, you're welcome. Could drop the back knee and do a low lunge. You could take a different arm position. Last breath here. Release hands to the floor. Drop the back knee. Pat it if you like. You could roll up the side of your mat or use a blanket. And you may want to grab a couple blocks. We'll come back for a hamstring stretch. Inch the front foot forward. Flex the toes back. So hips are above the back knee. Hands right under shoulders as high as you need them. And then if you do want to slide the front heel forward, you can go towards splits, Hanumanasana. If you did slide forward, slide your way back. To release, bring both hands to the inside, turn out through the right foot and come down onto elbows or on blocks, lizard pose. You may want to add a quad stretch to this. You could bend the back leg, reach for it and draw it in. If that doesn't work for you, skip that part. Just do what works for you now. One more breath here. Let's release. Hands to the floor, tuck the back toes, come up to plank height. I'm gonna shimmy the right foot a little further down the mat and come into a side plank. Lift the right arm, come onto the outer edge of the left foot and left hand. You can stay in this variation or take any other variation of side plank that you know or wanna try. Feel whatever it is you are choosing to do. Can your breath be steady? And then release. Make your way to down dog. You might take a vinyasa. There might be some other movement transition. Feel what you are choosing to do.
from down dog when you're ready. Left leg sweeps up. Step forward, high lunge. Arms up. Come into a twist here, right elbow across or whatever you did on the first side. So if you took a different arm position, do that again. If you took a low lunge, you can do that again. One more breath here. Release, hands to the floor, drop the back knee, pat it. Maybe grab your blocks, inch the front foot forward, flex toes back. You are looking for your edge. Trying to go right up to it, not beyond it. If you did slide forward on the other side, you can try that again. If you did slide forward, slide your way back. To release, we'll bring both hands to the inside, turn out through the left foot, lizard pose. Possibly adding a quad stretch if you tried that on the first side. Shoulder width apart, lift the hips up, shimmy the left foot down, and then transition to side plank. So you can keep your left foot where it is. You could stack it on top. You could do whatever you did on the first side. Last breath here. Release, make your way to down dog, feeling what you are choosing to do. Hmm. Let's come into a pigeon pose, right side, slide the right knee forward, scoot back through the left leg, add support if support is useful, something under your hip or chest or forehead. Let's make our way back to down dog. Any movement transition, more important than what you are doing, is that you are feeling what you are doing, whatever that is. From down dog, left knee comes forward, pigeon pose, other side. I'm settling towards the floor. Last breath here. Make your way back to down dog. Let's come all the way through to sitting. Back onto our backs. 
Bring both knees in, little circle or rock. And then drop your feet to the floor, getting set up for a couple back bends. We'll start with bridge. Feet hip width apart, parallel. Press your feet down, lift your hips up. Once your hips are high enough, interlace your fingers behind your back, shrug your shoulders underneath you. Take your arms out of your way, roll down, rest. If you feel like coming up again, come up again. Same thing or any other back bend you know or want to try. So we'll take a few more. You choose how many, how long you stay in each one and what you end up doing. So this could be very gentle, deep, long, short. Breath steady the whole time. Each time the pose feels complete, come down and rest until you feel like coming up again. If you don't feel like coming up again, it means you're done move on to a counter stretch and there's no rush for this. I'm going to wrap things up but you can keep practicing if you are enjoying what you're doing stay with that you want to take more back bends go for it. If you're done move on to something to help you integrate what you've just done. I'm doing happy baby you can join me grabbing the soles of the feet on the inside or maybe there's something else you need. Each time you finish, check in with your body. What's needed now? Is there some last pose or stretch? And take an inversion, a restorative pose, a little self-massage, twist. Anything or nothing. If nothing's needed. You can start getting comfortable. Set up for your final rest. Coming into a symmetrical, relaxed position. Letting go of the control of your breath. Mm. Letting go of doing anything. Slowly begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. Move your wrists and ankles, and then take a big stretch out through your arms and legs. <sighs> when you're ready, bring your knees in. Roll to one side. Use your hands to help you up to sitting. And bring hands together at the heart. Namaste. Thank you, everyone. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you have a good rest of your day.